darling, you want to go upstairs get my mask? <laughs> well, here we are on a Sunday, mask and all. What? Um, what do you want? It's I have mask now, it's okay. I had one in my bag, it's all right. Um, yeah, so uh, just a quick update on the house before we go out. Um, I'm actually going to talk about uh, uh, one, of our, one of our Discord members has asked us a bit more about uh, just general lifestyle as a Farang here in Thailand. I don't even know what the title will call it, it's just that basically tips and tricks uh, of living in Thailand here as a Farang. Um, it's as good a title as any. But yeah, so just before we get head off, we're going to go up to Sonam Mung Song. So we haven't been to the market for a while. It's a bit risky with obviously, you know, the crowded space there at the markets here in, in for Sonam Mung Song, uh, which is one of the things I've, we've been avoiding the place. Um, but that aside, we thought I'd just give you a bit of an update of the house before we head off. So yeah, um, yeah, so the carport now is, oh, okay, so first up, yeah, the, <laughs> this is the last major project, which is the, the yard. Uh, I've got to work out something to do there, so we've got a bit of junk still around the place which we've got to do, deal with. But um, aside from that, so here's the, the carport finished. Um, of course, uh, we're at loggerheads with you know the, the actual overall thing. Um, I wanted sort of like a grey, you know, a gloss grey to go uh, with the rest of the house. She wanted black. She's gone for matte black. Uh, not going to argue. Um, I'm sure we'll end up changing that within the next 12 months, but who knows. Um, but she also wants to do the, the railing as well. She wants to match the railing up with the black. Uh, you know how I go. Anyway, um, but yeah, so, you know, you've seen the inside of the house. You can watch the live streams. It gives you a bit more up-to-date up stuff. Uh, yeah, so they've got gardening to do. Um, concrete's laid here. Um, uh, the neighbours have put up a security screen there between the two houses but it's all good uh, fully drained and everything else we haven't any rain yet so um, it's just one of those two things the three motorcycles uh, are here um, I've got a I've got a run uh, what well, the run to the market today uh, on the way back I'll go and pick up the fourth motorcycle and bring that out here as well so anyway so that's a bit of an update um, a bit of a snapshot let's just take it a bit further out here and uh, have a look at the house from the street. So, uh, yeah, it's starting to look pretty slick. Uh, feel like, feels like home now. There's still a whole bunch of little things to do inside, you know. Uh, we've got most of the clothes packed away into, in, into cupboards and things like that, but yeah, the interior decorating, there's still a few things to do. Anyway, so we're gonna head off to the market. <laughs> and uh, we'll catch up with you when you get there. So here we are again out at uh, Sanam Lung Song, which is uh, a, uh, a, a, an open air, well I wouldn't call it open air, it's got a lot of covering, but it's uh, one of the big weekend markets out west of the city, uh, out west of Bangkok city that is, uh, just in case you're forgetting that we live in Nankong Pan Nam now. <laughs> so it's a bit of a longer drive than it used to be, and the traffic is horrendous trying to get here. Uh, it's all single lane back roads uh, to get into the place and of course uh, that just creates a traffic jam you wouldn't believe. But yes, yeah, so let's talk about you know, general <laughs> Westerner things living here in Thailand. Um, it comes down to sort of one of those sort of things that uh, General life here in Thailand is a little bit different to uh, what you might be used to here in the West. What you've got to look at here is the fact that uh, things get done the Thai way. So you want a shirt or you want a pair of jeans. Uh, we're so used to and conditioned to coming to, you know, like uh, you know, Westfield or one of the big, you know, malls um, to, you know, to do our shopping. And you just obviously drop into, you know, into Kmart or David Jones or something like that and grab a pair of jeans. It's not what Thais do. Um, the first place a Thai will come to get anything in particular for the you know, daily, weekly, monthly essentials is their weekend, is their, is their weekend markets. Um, there's two styles of markets you've got. You've got your, what they call your wet markets or your food markets, which 
are fairly close and quite, uh, you know, they're dotted all around the place. And then of course you get these uh, open air, well, open air with, with awnings um, markets where it has all the bric-a-brac and you know, odds and ends. You know, you know, for instance, like somebody's asking about guitars uh, and music instruments. Well, there's a, a guy selling sort of guitars there. Um, what you've got to look at is the fact that this is, this is what we do here in Thailand. You know, got a pair of boxer shorts, shirts there. This is where Thais come to first when they want something specifically clothing related. Um, or uh, again, you know, snack related. You know, these these bananas, you know, the, the dried bananas, they're quite yummy. Uh, great, great healthy snacks. Uh, certainly beats them, uh, uh, what they call the potato chips, uh, without a doubt. Finding uh, uh, underwear for men can be a bit of a challenge. You know, there's plenty for underwear of women, but uh, ties wear t-shirts. Um, majority of the time. Uh, collared shirts. Uh, uh, again, I think uh, it's to each their own, but I don't sort of see very many ties doing collared shirts. Here we have uh, electric scooters. Oh, yeah, electric scooter, the 8,900. Uh, there's a 12,900. No idea the brands. There's nothing there I can really just say. But this is where you would come as a first stop for anything to do with, uh, you know, the, the, the sort of things that you need. Uh, what we need is we need a, a mattock and a rake and a shovel for the house. We're going to do some gardening, so I'm going to have to look at getting those things today. Um, as for clothing, I don't really need any clothing. I've, I've actually found all my clothing doing... You know, oh, that's, a, that's a Guns N' Roses t-shirt. Looks like my size. Um, yeah, uh, squirrel, squirrel. <laughs> Drink coke? Yeah, okay, you can get drink coke, you can drink a coke, okay. Get one coke. And then I'm okay. I'm sure that little beat would sort of send the person to sleep, but yeah. <laughs> gotta, gotta, gotta enjoy your coca cola. You've got to think about some of the things like uh, if you're going to be living here as a retiree, well, you're not going to. Okay, let's see. You're not going to be working, so time is going to be one of those sort of things you're going to have a lot of. Um, so, uh, whereas you know we're time poor um, in the West, and you know you look at the things for convenience, like all-in-one shopping or things like that. So that's why you go to the mall, you pay more. Um, but as I said, you know, it's always a it's a it's a toss-up between. Um, sorry, I'm making a video. You can hold. Uh, it's a toss-up between you know, convenience and uh, time and everything else. Here, you know, you're used to the fact that the time is something that you're going to have a luxury of. Well, you know, if you're a gamer, maybe not. But um, you're going to find that there's a lot of things you can do. And so, you know, driving you know, 12 kilometres to an open-air market like this um, makes sort of sense, you know, the, the hour to get here. It felt like an hour anyway. Um, you know, that's not a problem. Yeah, you know, you're going to save money. You know, tyres do it this way. They they look at the fact that they don't mind, you know, travelling an hour, you know, to, to, to save 20 baht on a pair of jeans. You know, that's the sort of thinking you've got to deal with here in Thailand. Um, and again, so if you're a Westerner living by yourself, uh, it's not going to make much sense to you. But if you're living with a Thai person, then it makes total sense because they're the ones who know where the bargains are. That's why we come here, and uh, it's all—it's all about bargain shopping. Um, what else can I say? The market itself. Well, for a Sunday, what time is it? Just gone past one o'clock. Uh, it's, it's still quite sparse for what it used to be. Uh, this place just be wall to wall people, but I think people are just being very extra careful. Oh, more drinking. Okay. The, uh, the used clothes market is very, very popular. Most of the stuff here, particularly in this section, um, is seconds or second hand. Uh, that's why you're sort of seeing prices like 20 baht. Um, you know, but you've got food, 
There are little stalls there, street food inside the market. And dresses for 20 baht, uh, slacks for, for 80 baht. Uh, and again, it's you know, they're one offs, they're second hand, and something that, that you know, maybe doesn't float your boat, but you know, for a Thai person, it, it makes total sense to come here and uh, uh, buy pre loved. And that could be a word of warning if you do find yourself, you know, with a Thai girl. Um, if she insists on uh, shopping at the, the high-so shops and doesn't look at the markets, maybe she's not the right sort of Thai person to be shacking up with because it's going to cost you a lot of money. Uh, and that's one of the things you're going to have to be careful of. Hi, Club. Some nice little wall hangings there. Again, so, you know, one of the things you might be challenged with is you know, trying things on in an open air market. That's always fun. Um, but uh, yeah, so finding things your size. Now, I'm uh, one of the challenges I've had here in, in Thailand is, you know, in Australia, I would be, you know, like a 36 waist, um, you know, uh, what a 38 chest, which is like primarily what they call an M size fitting uh, over here in Thailand. Uh, those sort of size sizing there are large people sizes. Uh, so one thing I've had to get used to is instead of buying M size for, for, for the medium size shirts, I've now had to change that to L size shirts just so that they fit. Uh, and this is again something you're probably going to, have to get used to as well. Uh, try before you buy is really the key thing. Make sure it fits first. Don't, don't buy on size alone. You can really spend hours <laughs> and hours here uh, looking at odds and ends. You know, there's no, there's no logic uh, to the size, to, to the stores. Uh, I think they, they buy on the square foot and they, of course they're, they're buying into one of these little shutters. Uh, you know, three square meter <laughs> and it all spews out to the side <laughs> there you go more shirts uh, 50 baht 20 baht 30 baht i've got to watch the music as well because it's probably copyright yeah again collared shirts there 100 baht um, jeans and slacks there or you know, trousers there 200 baht um, Make sure, you just check them out, make sure the threading looks okay, make sure the, the seams look okay. Got to be a little bit of a careful, um, you know, a, a careful shopper will find bargains here. Yeah, so when it comes to shopping, so think of it in this order. Um, look at what's available on the street near where you live. That's going to be convenient for space and time to travel. Uh, compare that, then the second port of call will be these sort of markets to go to, to find your bargains. Uh, if you can't find what you're looking for here, uh, then you can also you're going to have to go to the you know, the brand name, you know, Bannard Shops. Um, that's probably your third port of call. Um, and then, of course, uh, on top of that, then of course you go you know, the high so sort of shopping, uh, such as the Emporium and uh, and uh, you know the the, the big uh, you know Central West, uh, the Central sort of stores. Uh, uh, like we've got uh, what they call Central Salia here, uh, where all the high brand name stores are. So that's the sort of order of picking that you will do. And as then, you know, like you're not time poor here, so you can do that. What's the cup? Somebody my cup? Oh, that was. Uh, he was also asking about toiletries. Um, you know, again, so here's you know, uh, different brands of um, you know, odds and ends for your skin care and shampoos, uh, soaps. You'll find this all over the place. Toothpaste. Um, if you if you're set on buying a particular brand, you might find difficulty. You know, like well, where's the Colgate toothpaste? Well, don't get stuck uh, in that uh, sort of mindset that you have to have Colgate. Um, uh, try the Mr. Dali, you know, that's a pretty common brand uh, here in Thailand for, to for toothpaste. Um, like uh, I might, I might choose Sensodyne, but thankfully Sensodyne is a toothpaste you can buy in 7-Eleven. It's quite popular over here, um, but I've been using Sensodyne for quite some time. Um, 
I just find the fact that, you know, when you get older, you get a little bit of, uh, you know, like uh, uh, receding gums. You know, that's what happens when you get old. Uh, and so, uh, Synthodyne really sort of helps with that sort of situation. Just flicking past here, uh, flicking past here. Uh, this guy here has been here for some time doing RC vehicles, you know, remote control stuff, uh, boys toys. Uh, and again, sort of skateboards here in Thailand, uh, that's going to be a new craze starting up. But I did skateboards in the 70s. I um, was quite good at it back in those days too. Uh, probably wouldn't, wouldn't dare get on one now, <laughs> but, but again, that's life for you when you get old. There we go, pairs of socks, 10 baht, 50 baht. Give you an idea of just... <laughs> The sort of things, you know, the undergarments is what you have to deal with. And again, I've sort of said it before, if you are in sort of, you know, you know reasonably close location to where we live and you, you want to, you know, hang out together at one of these places, it's always, it's always handy to come with somebody just so that, you know, you, you, you know what you're doing and you've got somebody who's walked that path before. Um, uh, a lot of people here, when they come to Thailand, want to lone wolf it. And again, I'm not a big one of, you know, wanting to hang out with Parang every day. You know, I come to Thailand myself um, to have a relaxed lifestyle. But uh, again, I'm one of those few people that like to help people out. And, you know, if we've got a good rapport on, you know, on, on Discord or on our chat programs or, our, you know, if I know you, you know, and we've, we've, we've talked or chatted or typed messages for a length of time, you know, and you come out to here, I'm, I'm, I'm all poor, you know, hanging out and sort of saying, well, let's not go to a bar, let's, let's go, you know, we got to see, this is what I want to look for, uh, let's not go to a bar, let's go somewhere where we can, you know, get things, things that you need. Uh, it's much more exciting than hanging around a bar. Boys toys. This is what we're looking for, one of these little mattocks to help turn the soil over. Uh, I'm not quite sure which one I'd buy or what we're going to buy, but yeah, there's a, well, it looks like there's some new ones there, super. So the hose there, well, see, you never understand the pricing though, it's four to five hundred baht, you know, because they're second hand, you know, and you know, <laughs> she'll be buying if she was buying it and she'll make the bargain. Um, me, I'd probably, I'd probably end up paying five hundred baht, she'd end up paying four hundred baht. You've got to get used to that part of it too here in Thailand. Um, there is that sort of, you know, uh, they see you coming as a parang sometimes and uh, unless of course you're with a tie, you can pay more. On the subject of socks, yes, I actually do need some more socks. Uh, uh, looking there, so trying to find a price. Maybe it's five pairs for 100 baht, I'm not quite sure, I'll have to find out. Yes, yeah, so, you know, as, as I just found out, five socks for 100 baht. Uh, and that's a 20 baht each. Yeah, so, Let's see if I can find five, five different pairs so that the, uh, the washing machines eat our sock for some reason. It can get quite annoying. Oh, and make a point, of course, uh, they're, they're new pairs of socks. They're not seconds as well. Uh, if you're buying from a market, you have to know what you're looking at, uh, again, to help you uh, equate the pricing to see if it makes sense, you know. A uh, little bit of education, you know, do some, reckon, uh, do some research, do some uh, wandering. Uh, check things out, you know, you're going to get yourself familiar. Yes, uh, with this particular market, this, uh, I suppose, west, uh, oh, no. this western side of San Long Song is, as I said, now new and used bric-a-brac, all sorts of things. Uh, when we, of course, go to the uh, eastern side, which is through these corridors, out of the road and across a bit more, uh, out that way, um, you've got uh, haberdashery, you've got pets, uh, you've got uh, gardening, all sorts of things like that. There is a sort of a, a logic to it. A logic sort of escapes me, you know, primarily, but uh, there is sort of some sort of semblance of organisation when it comes to that. But yeah, you'll find plants over this side and you'll find brick and break over that side. So uh, you're really, really looking around, you have to look everywhere. Of course, there's one thing that's always uh, common with any market you go to, <laughs> the pop-up food stands. She'll never go hungry. Mm. But yeah, as I said, this, this area here, this is now getting into the, um, you know, the, what do you call it, the pet store, 
uh, gardening, all that sort of stuff, and internal furnishings, you know, curtains and so on and so forth. Uh, it's a bit of a walk around, but again, as I said, you know, you've, it's not like you're, you're pressed for time here in Thailand. Uh, get used to that sort of fact. Uh, one of the challenges you will have here is, of course, parking. Uh, yeah, everybody wants to do their own thing, uh, nobody has any right or way, or you get used to that shit. Uh, again, knowing where to park is half the trouble. A lot of people come from all over the place to come here. Uh, and again, like, uh, like comparing these, these markets, this one here is, uh, uh, as I said, it's Sun and Long Song. Hi, the car. Oh, come on. Oh, you had to touch. Uh, can't work these things. There's some them, some you look at, some of them touch. So the, the combination. So again, you know, COVID, you know, touching a temperature sensor. <laughs> the whole idea is don't touch things. Uh, logic. Uh, it escapes a lot of people when it comes to engineering, doesn't it? Um, but yeah, so. Uh, yeah, the, the common, uh, the common or the most well-known Bangkok open-air market. Well, there's two of them really. Um, there's uh, Chatachak and Rot Phai, two fairly large area markets in Bangkok. And I think right now, Chatachak, from what I heard last, is all but closed. Um, and uh, Rot Phai, again, I've got no idea how Rot Phai market is doing. But this one here seems to be teeming with people. Maybe that's why people are out here because the other ones are closed. Uh, but there are a few dotted around the Bangkok area, depending on where you live, of course. Some greenery for the garden. Um, not seeing any direct pricing, but the pricing seems to be quite reasonable. You know, I think the plants we have bought, you know, 100 baht, 200 baht, um, they don't get expensive. Um, and of course, everything grows like wildfire over here because of the climate. There's some uh, gardening tools, is again what we're looking for. Let's find the price out if we can. <laughs> is somebody going to help us? <laughs> I'm sure there is somebody here. <laughs> so they tell us that uh, the big one there, which is what we saw for 400 to 500 baht second, only 590 baht for a new one. So, and the new ones look pretty good. So we'll come back here and pick that up before we go. Yeah, as for the front, like, front yard, I'm going to have to look at, you know, like something like that to sort of just turn the soil in and turn the soil over and scrape the, the top crap off. Uh, make, make a mound of the excess, which has all come out from the digging to put the uh, concrete in. And we'll get somebody to come and cart that shit away. Right. What are you looking? For what? For food? For food, nah. no. Uh, not like this one. Yeah, I, I think we find food. You what? think? Yeah. Can you kind of see oh, the food right. underneath? Mm -hmm. Is that right? 450 baht. 450 baht. Oh yes, there is a food court here as well for those hungry mouths. <laughs> Just that everywhere you go in Thailand there's always food. Uh, and you can't go past chicken on a stick. There you go. It's almost a whole chicken for 100 baht <laughs> on a stick. <laughs> you never go hungry here. As a foot arm, that's probably the one thing you're really going to have to watch when you get over here. It's taken me sort of, you know, five months to sort of stabilise my weight. Because you just get lazy and, you know, you, you tend to eat more than you need. And uh, one of the biggest challenges you'll have here is, you know, not to put on weight. Um, I know uh, Niall's been sort of keeping us abreast of his walking. He does like 10 to 20 kilometres walking a day. He's managed to sort of knock off 20 kilos. Uh, so he's doing pretty well. Um, but yeah, it's one of the problems you're going to have here is uh, stacking those pounds on, or stacking those kilo, kilos on, depending if you're metrified or not. Um, but yeah, uh, if, you, uh, if you keep yourself aware of your weight, <laughs> stop eating all the junk food, uh, you'll keep yourself under some sort of uh, fit condition at least anyway. One of the channels I used to watch you know, uh, many moons ago, uh, just really in my transition to coming here, you know, uh, is a channel called Darren uh, B3. 
uh, and he does uh, walk around of you know, the open air food markets and he's like a, he's no, 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 my hero, my hero. Right? He wants to, he, he does videos on, on uh, all the different types of foods you'll, you'll find here in these marketplaces. Uh, and uh, it's one of my biggest challenges here. And you know, I'm like looking at the food here and you're going, I wonder what it is. And I wonder what that is. I wonder what, is it spicy? You know, uh, first, you, the language, uh, you have no signage. You just know as a Thai what, the, what each one of those dishes is. Uh, me, I, uh, I struggle looking at that sort of stuff. It, it looks yummy, um, but again, you know, what is it? <laughs> um, it's one of those things. I think I'm going to put myself through some sort of uh, refresher course from Darren B3's uh, channel just to sort of update myself on the actual uh, local cuisine at marketplaces. Um, but, uh, and then maybe relay that, guys, that relay that information to you in some sort of semblance of order if it makes sort of sense to me. Um, but uh, Darren's very good at it, so check his channel out if you really want to know Thai food. Uh, and, and again, he's not, he's not Mark Weens, uh, so uh, it's worth watching. Mark Weens is just a, he's a global food, you know, whatever guy. Um, but uh, Darren, he, fo he basically focuses here on the Thai food and Thai food only. Um, and you know, there's nothing special. Uh, there's no preempting a, the, you know, the, what they call the Michelin deals and you know, the, oh, the, you know how it goes. Uh, it's more down to earth than what Thai food's like. That's what I'm getting at. Anyway, I think we've done a bit of walk around here now. The traffic's just not moving anywhere. Thankfully, where air parked is a bit easier. We're just going to go across here, get that, uh, get that hoe, uh, and get the hoe, <laughs> um, and then make our way out of here. Um, more bric-a-brac. It's, it's places loaded with it. And of course, you know, comparing this place to Chattachuk, um, the, the aisle ways. No, I don't want Tasto Turf. <laughs> I'll put real guys down. Um, yeah, uh, you've got nice, easy walkways. Chattachuk, um, you know, it's really <laughs> quite narrow corridors. And in this uh, current, you know, COVID climate, probably not the best place to be. But uh, anyway, um, We'll make our way over here, get that, get that medic, uh, make our way home, get on the motorcycle, and I'll take, get the CB back home to complete our move. Anyway, we're going to close up the video now. Well, here we are around it. Pa's house is just over here in the back end. He's just bringing the motorcycle out now. Um, he doesn't have a garage. It's pretty cramped in there, so he'll bring the car out. Anyway, so... Say goodbye, darling. Bye bye. Have to enjoy with the all supper highlights and share. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so in closing, um, there's a lot of things you're going to have to get used to here in Thailand. Um, if you want to have a Farang lifestyle, a Westerner lifestyle, everything like that, it's going to cost a little bit more. Uh, the one thing you have to do is, if you really want to enjoy Thailand, this is one of my biggest things that, uh, you know, Right now, I'm trying to think of a video to make. Um, I'm now sort of five years into my stay here in Thailand and I feel like everything's normal. I tell you what, five years ago, nothing seemed normal, but uh, it takes a bit of getting used to. Anyway, um, people have been asking more and more of this type of video, so I'm gonna try and do more of this sort of stuff for you and um, uh, see how we go. Uh, see if people like the whole lifestyle uh, angle of living here in Thailand. And I don't know where Pa's gone, but he's still has brought it home. Anyway, uh, I'll just have to wait here until he gets here. Anyway, peace out, people, and um, I'll catch up with you next time.